We are recording. Sa Qumi twende tena. Unapokutana ngoma kali kwenye redio ama kwenye YouTube matatu au sehemu yote ile ushaka chini hivi kujiuliza ni producer ama kili gani na nguvu gani waga imetumika kwa ajili kuweza kutengeneza hilo balaa e bana ni pia ifikia tu tujifunze ku appreciate ma producer ambao waga natengeneza hii miziki na sio tu kuapa credits wasanii ndio maana leo Ramake Ola nimesema so vibaya ni kuletea list ya baadhi ya ma producer ambao utasema kwamba they are keeping Kenyan music alive <tos> Ebana wa kwanza kwenye list ya kwangu ni legend Eric Musyoka wa Desmo Records. My name is Eric Musyoka. I'm a music producer based in Nairobi, Kenya. Huyu jamaa alishinda award yake ya kwanza mwaka 2006, award ya Kisima Awards kama best producer of the year. I've been producing music now for this is my 21st year. I started in April 17, 1997 was the first time i set foot in a studio i'm very good with dates <laughs> it's my weakness kipindisho by the way alikuwa chini ya label ya homeboys product shizo na kama unakumbuka fresh homeboys ilikuwa ni homeboys kipindi cha zamani those guys have gotten a studio but also that time i'd moved to homeboys yes they moved to homeboys i had gone to homeboys i'd joined homeboys mwaka 2018 msioka alikuja kuanzisha label yake kwake ambayo inajulikana kama Desmond na amefanikiwa kufanya kazi na wasanii wakubwa sana kiwemo Nonini, Waire na wasanii wengine wengi sana pamoja na Jua Kali lakini kikubwa kabisa umshikaji pia ndiye alihusika kuilea career ya P Unit kutoka Desmond Records e bana amesema so vibani aze na huyu wa kwanza ambaye anajulikana kama Eric Msioka so the caliph artist I was given to work with was Nonini and the first song i did with nonino was keror unaposikia beat ya clemo bila shaka utaelewa kwamba ni akili ya moja kati ya maproducer wa Kongo yenye uwezo mkubwa sana mzunguzie mkali ujulikana kama Clement Rapudo maarufu kama Clemo. Ya bana huyo ndio muasisi wa Calif Records. Na ndio producer pekee ambaye alishai kutuletea sound fulani hivi amazing ambayo poka right now inagonga kinoma noma genge. Picha Clemo. Picha Clemo ambayo ni style fulani hivi ambayo ilibebwa sana na jua kali pamoja na nonini alafu amefanikiwa kutetea wasanii wengi sana pamoja na kina meja na wengine kibao tena sana Clemo ameingia kwenye list producer wa pili ambaye ana impact kubwa sana kwenye mziki wa hapa 254. Watatu kwenye listi ya kwangu ni producer mwingine tena mkongwe na mzunguzia Robert Kimanzi maarufu kama RK ama mwanabuja ukipenda. Huyu jamaa anajua alihamia hapa Nairobi kutoka pande za Burundi na kuanza kare yake kama producer na amefanikiwa kufanya kazi na wasanii wengi sana ndani na nje ya nchi. Nikiwataja baadhi ya wasanii kutoka pande za 255 ni pamoja na Racy, Professor J kutoka pande za 256 kuna Blue 3 pamoja na Bobby Wine wengine kibao. Kutoka hapa Kenya ana wasanii ambao amewalea kimuziki pamoja na Nameless, kuna Duex Volt kuna Longombas kuna wasanii wengi sana lakini kikubwa kabisa huyu jamaa kwenye kari yake unaambiwa kwamba amefanikiwa kuachia album zaidi ya sabini more than 70 albums ambazo zimekuwa produced chini ya mikono yake producer ambaye tunasema kwamba ni mkongwe kati ya ma producer wote ambao nimetoka kuwataja right now Ni 
Next on my list ni mkali ujulikana kama Cedric Kadenyi, maarufu kama Sedo. E bana ukiangalia midundo kama vile Malaika Nyashinski, Mungu pekee. E bana ni kazi ya huyu producer ambaye ujulikana kama Sedo. Amefanikiwa kufanya kazi na mkali ujulikana kama Kidum kwenye kazi ambayo ujulikana kama Telenovela na kuna wasanii wengi sana akiwemo Naiboy, Avril na wengine kibambao. Wamefanya kazi chini ya Sedo. Sedo ni moja kati ya uh, ni moja kati ya ma producer ambao watasema kwamba nyimbo nyingi sana right now hapa 254 zipo kwenye mikono yake. E bana Shout out sana kwa Sedo. My passion is in music and content creation. My passion is in the media. Next kwenye list yake kwangu ni mkali ujulikana kama Nixon Wesonga, maarufu kama V6. Right now anajiita Six Beats. Ujamaa alianza career yake way back dog by the way akiwa chini ya label ambayo inajulikana kama Jomino. Of course, nakumbuka aliachia kazi na wasanii wengi sana akiwemo DNG, Kendrezi, Kaya na wengine kibao. Baadaye akaja kuhamia label ya Grand Pa Records ambayo inamilikiwa na mkali ujulikana kama Refiga. Hapo akatupatia Kenyan sound flani hivi ambayo kila mmoja aliipenda. Kazi kama hiyo vile hivyo ndio kunaendaga unakumbuka kama Dumbala remix kulikuwa na kazi kama vile fimbo ni nyimbo ambazo zilitake over vibaya sana baadaye huyu jamaa alikuja kujiondoa katika label hiyo ya Grand Pa Records na akafungua studio kwake ambayo ilikana kama Hella Records visita ni mwanamuziki ni rapper, mwimbaji na producer vile vile. Bana jamaa na vipaji kibao tena sana. Ameingia kwenye list kati ya ma producer ambao wanafanya vizuri sana hapa 254. Kwenye list ya kwangu nao mkali kujulikana kama Magic Enga maarufu kama Beat King. Huyu jamaa amehusika kutengeneza hits kali. Moja kati ya nyimbo moja ambayo inaweza kumbuka kwa haraka haraka ni kazi ya Kasayole, Kali Grav Jones pamoja na Timmy Tida. Na amefanya kazi na wasanii kama vile Utile Brown na wengine kibao. Lakini kikubwa, huyu jamaa amehusika pia kuleta sound mpya ya Gangeton ambayo ndio ime take over airwaves kinoma noma. E bana Magic Enga pia ni moja kati ya ma producer ambao wana uwezo mkubwa na pia ameleta impact kubwa sana kwenye tasnia muziki hapa 254. Beautiful my girl what took you so long you said you're coming home what took you so long i guess maybe you are busy fixing your own mistakes you don't call girl your number busy yeah. like a journey people make mistakes e bana kutoka pale ya 001 muomba sana kutanisha na mkali ujulikana kama Shirko huyu jamaa Alianza kari yake kama mwanamuziki akamia pande za bongo akatengeneza hits kali kama vile na Tamba ya Slay, Baila ya Damon, amefanya kazi na wasani wengi sana kutoka Tanzania kiumo Chege ya Moto Band wengine kibao. Amerudi 254 na kuleta vipaji vipya kabisa wasani kama vile Akila pamoja na Ali Mahaba. Right now yuko base pande za Momba Sani na anafanya kazi chini ya Shirko Media. RKO Media. Ah. Ebana wengine ambao nataka niwataje kwa haraka haraka ni pamoja na producer wa kujulikana kama Beat ya Kega ambaye alifanya kazi kama vile karibu Nairobi ya jua kali na you know mkali ujulikana kama Nyashinski kuna producer ujulikana kama Ted Josai ambaye ni alimenta na kumtuletea kipaji kipya kabisa na mzungumzia mas sauti Kenyan boy kipindi bado yuko momba sana kama utakumbuka freshi kuna Rico Beats producer wa mazishi ya Calligraph Jones kuna Philip Makanda wa Main Switch Production amehusika kutengeneza kazi kadhaa za jago by the way kuna Motif wa Blue Ink ya Calligraph Jones ambaye pia amefanya kazi na Calligraph Jones kwenye nyimbo kibao tu Vicky Pondis pia amehusika kutengeneza kazi na moja kati ya kazi kubwa ni kazi ya more ya Badman Shivo Tile Brown pamoja na Jovial kutoka 001 Momba Sani mzaliwa wa Tanzania Sapi ambaye alihusika kutengeneza hits kibao ikiwemo album ya Red Sun ni moja kati ya ma producer wazuri sana pia kutoka hapa 254 alafu kuna Jack Jack on the beat pia producer wa Tipito ya Femi Uno Femi Moja Femi One Femi Moko unajua eh e bana muda ungenitosha ningekuelekea 
kutengeneza mengi kuhusiana na maproducer wengi sana kiwemo Jackie B, Teddy B, Busy B na Saint P. Na wengine kibao tena sana. Nimesema so vibaya kama list ya kwangu ikiishia hapa. Wananiita Rama K, thank you so much kwamba umepata time kwa ajili ya kuweza kufuatilia. Kisha kwamba umesubscribe ili mradi niendelee kusogezea ma story kibao tena sana. They call me Rama K, Sharon Pia, kwa Rui Waters behind the camera, editor na director wa mchongo mzima. I'm out. Wazazi wangu wamekusifia sana kwa tabia yako. Inanivutia Shepu twiga mwenda pole Najifunia